Hey, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Knight 3000. What's going on with y'all out there in YouTube land? Anyway, it is currently 12:24 p.m. here in the city, beautiful. And once again, it's a beautiful day. It's just hotter today than it was yesterday. See, now that's the way you ride a bike. He got his helmet on. He's good to go. So at least his head is protected, even though the rest of him isn't. But you can always get a skin graft if you go down, but you can't get a new head. Remember that for all you guys out there with bikes. Anyway, uh, I got a late start today. Uh, when he got the car detailed this morning, uh, that's probably the reason why you don't see the, the Uber airport logo in the back of the window. I told him to take that shit out so they could really wash the windows the right way, you know. Yeah, I got the growth going today. I'm figuring, fuck it, it's Saturday, you know. But anyway, uh, so I got a late start. And so far I've done four deliveries. All four of them have turned out to be McDonald's. And all four have been bothersome. One McDonald's had the food ready when I got there. Only one. The other three, I had to stand there and wait for them to prepare the food. That's a waste of my time. I understand you want the food to be hot and fresh. But if somebody places an order, you get the food ready for pickup. You don't want the delivery guy to be standing there and standing there and standing there watching everybody else around you get their food made and hand it to them. And I'm standing there waiting on this food to get picked up. Then, the first order that I get, I take the food to this place. I text the, the lady. I'm downstairs. I'll buzz you in. She texts me back. I'm like, what the fuck again with this shit? I don't mind bringing the food up a few stairs to your front door. What, you living in a building where you have to buzz me in? Anyway, I take the food up to her. And believe me when I tell you, up to her. I tell her, don't forget, tip your driver. That's like pissing in the wind. We were all so hyped up to get tipping added to the app. And for those of you out there getting that good tip money, congratulations. I wish it was me. I don't know about the rest of the Uber drivers, whether you're doing UberX, Uberpool, or Uber Eats, Uber Rush, whatever. The first week that tipping came out, which was last week, I made $10 in tips. Not a bad week. Could have been better. Not a bad week, though. This week, $1. That was my tip for the week. Somebody tipped me a whole dollar. The last delivery that I had, I'm standing in McDonald's and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Person gets four big size drinks. Two big bags of food. Even the Chicago police guys that were standing behind me are like, holy, who ordered up? That's what happens when people order McDonald's. People order so much shit because they know it's being delivered to them. They don't have to go out themselves and get this shit. They don't have to lug this shit back home. So people are over ordering. That's good for McDonald's. If you guys have been paying attention to the stock market, McDonald's stock is up. They attribute it to the $1 drink. Where you can go in and you can get any size beverage as long as it's a cola. 
or soda for one dollar. That's what they attribute to the fact that McDonald's stock is up. That's bullshit. It's the fact that all these people are ordering all this shit on McDonald's through Uber Eats. That's why McDonald's stock is up. But whatever. I got two bags of food and I got four large sodas. I'm trying to get this shit in the car in such a way that it doesn't turn over the moment I hit a a curve and then for those of you that live in Chicago I don't know how it is where you are speed humps down virtually every fucking street so I'm trying to get the stuff in and position it so that it won't flip over the moment I go over a speed hump or the moment I turn left or right I start the trip this person calls me where you at I started to tell her none of your motherfucking business. But I'm like, I'm on my way to your location. Can you be a little patient? I hung up the phone. When I get there, she's standing outside looking at me all crazy. Did I get a tip for bringing two big bags of food and four sodas to your door? No. No tip. No tip. Like I said, we were all angry at Uber for not putting tipping in the original app. And since they've added the motherfucker, I've made a grand total of $11 in two weeks. $11 in tips in two weeks since the app has been added. Now people don't have the excuse. Well, if I only had some change, I used to get that all the time. You got change for a 20? And then you whip out change for a 20, they look at you like, yeah, you weren't expecting me to take out change for a 20. See, that's what it was. Now, you got the app where you can tip right through your credit card or your debit card, whatever you're using to pay for that food. I've got a message from one guy. He's making $25 a night in tips. Congratulations, my brother. Keep making it. Me? I'm not making shit in tips. But once again, 99% of the people I deliver to are white. Or rather black or Hispanic. Nobody tips me shit. Yeah, people ordered huge ass amounts of food. Nobody tips. Nobody thinks about the fact that this shit could spill in your car. That's the reason why I had to go get the car detailed. It wasn't the fact that shit had spilled. Even though... Some shit has spilled. Uh, one of those uh, McFlurries. Uh, the girl at McDonald's didn't put the top on right. And the fucking top popped off. And then the shit was melting. So as soon as I take a curve, the shit spills. So the car smelled like fucking McFlurry, which is great. But I don't want that shit in the car. It's on the carpet and shit like that. I mean, come on. And then... I'm like, yesterday I'm driving, and all you can, and I have no food in the car, but all you can smell is like chicken and shit, chicken and McDonald's shit, still in the car. So I'm like, what the fuck? It's in the upholstery, it's in the seats, it's in the fucking headliner. Somebody having a bad day. That smell, people think that it's Indian food that gives off a pungent aroma. And it does. If you get anything that's made from, if you pick up food from an Indian restaurant, you know it has a very pungent aroma. But if you keep delivering chicken and 
french fries and hamburgers and shit like that every day, that shit seeps into the upholstery. It seeps into the headliner. And that shit was smelling. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I need to roll the windows down all the way and just drive, get on the express and just take off, you know? Maybe that'll blow it out. So I do. I take the express home, get home, roll the windows back up. You can still smell it. So I'm checking to see that, wait a minute, do I have anybody's food still in the car? Is that it? I'm like, no, no drinks, no food. It's just... The smell has seeped into the upholstery, into the... So this morning I made up my mind that, okay, first thing in the morning I'm going to get up, take the car to where it can be detailed. That's the only way I'm going to get that smell out of here. And for my trouble, one dollar. I can't even get myself anything on the dollar menu because we're tax. Because shit don't cost a dollar anymore on the dollar menu. Shit is like 126, what was it, 123, 126? So I couldn't even take my tip and go to McDonald's and get something off the dollar menu. Thank you, Uber Eats customers, for your generous contribution to my dollar. And it's not like I just started. I think I got like 60 rides this week. One dollar. One whole dollar. But ask me how much McDonald's I've hauled. When people order from any other kind of restaurant, they kind of limit it to what they order but when people order from McDonald's they try to order every fucking thing that's on the menu because once again they don't have to lug this shit home you got somebody bringing it right to your fucking house you got me loaded down like yesterday I had four sodas and four of those McFlurries eight fucking drinks and then you got a big ass bag of food to go with that Think about if you had to go out and get that shit and then bring it home yourself. But when you got a delivery guy bringing it, you know, all you got to do is step outside your front door and take it from him. And then they're speculating last night on why McDonald's stock has gone up. Oh, it's the $1 drink. Give me a fucking break. Obviously, these are people that are out of touch with the real world. They're not out here every day seeing things. McDonald's is telling them, oh, well, it's our, it's the fact that we added the one dollar drink to our menu that people are really going into McDonald's for. Get your ass out of here. It's these people ordering all this shit through Uber Eats. I understand. Look, I like McDonald's too. I like myself a Big Mac every once in a while. In fact, I go for the two for five deal when I do get a Big Mac. So I get it. But goddamn, it's like here in Chicago, Harold's Chicken. It's like that's all we know how to order. McDonald's and chicken. God help all the Uber Eats drivers when KFC finally gets on the platform. Shit, you think it's bad now? It's going to be hellacious. If and when KFC finally gets on the Uber Eats platform, it's going to be hellacious. Because that's apparently all we eat. McDonald's or chicken. Anyway, that's my rant. Uh, the reason I'm out here on a Saturday instead of doing something fun I'm going for that $60 bonus. Earlier this week, they threw a $70 bonus out there. 
And for those of you guys out there that keep messaging me, asking or telling me, well, I don't get bonuses, I don't get bonus offers, how come you get bonus offers? I replied to you guys, but let me put it out there. Depending on how long you've been on the Uber platform, and I've been on since last year, not that I don't know if that makes any difference, uh, different drivers get offered different incentives. It depends, I guess, I don't really know, but from what I heard one time at the green light office, how productive you are, how many runs you make in a day, how many runs you make in a year, uh, how many times you answer a, 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 a ping as opposed to letting it go past, you know? Um, I used to know this African guy when I first started. He had been on the platform back when Uber first came to Chicago. And he was doing, shit, I think he was doing something like 150, 150 trips every week. I mean, this guy was sun up to sun down. He once told me that he starts his day at 4 a.m. And he didn't go home until like midnight. So I don't know how his body and his brain was able to function with just that little amount of sleep and that much driving. But he was doing 150 trips minimum every week. And so Uber was giving him bonuses back when I wasn't getting any. And I was kind of curious and worried and angry about that. Because he was showing me, oh yeah, Uber is offering a $105 bonus. He was Nigerian. So that's my best Nigerian accent, all right? Make fun of it if you will. But he's like, yeah, Uber is offering $105 this week. And then on the weekends, they'll be offering something else. Because we used to meet at the gas station downtown, the Marathon. And because if you're driving that much, obviously you're filling up every fucking day. And I see him a couple of times a week, and I'd ask him how his day was going. And he'd tell me, oh, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Well, why don't you go home? Oh, I got to make the money. got to send the money back home to the family. That's why he was working so hard. But Uber was offering him this money, and I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? When is my bonus going to get offered? And one time when I was at the green light office, I actually asked them, well, why is it he gets, you know, offered bonuses and I don't? And they told me, you have to be on the platform first a certain amount of time. You have to do a certain amount of rides per day, per week, per month. You have to accept a certain amount of rides. You know, you can't just like fuck it, let it go to somebody else. My guess is just be on the platform for a while. Sooner or later, they'll start giving you bonuses. Because some people that I run into, they've actually said that they stopped doing Uber for about two weeks. And then when they came back, they weren't getting offers for bonuses anymore. They had to reestablish themselves. It's sort of like you're a baseball player. You have to reestablish yourself inside the baseline if you're running. You can't run outside the baseline to avoid the tag. You have to reestablish yourself. And if you play football, if you run out of bounds on a kickoff, you have to reestablish yourself back in. Sort of like that. You have to reestablish yourself with Uber again for the bonuses to restart. Hopefully that explains things. Go to the green light office. They'll tell you a hell of a lot better than I could. I'm just going by what one cute girl told me. All okay? right. That's what she told me when I went down there and I asked, why am I not getting bonuses? She was like, well, you got to be on the platform for a while. So hopefully that helps. Uh, what else is going on? Beyond that, nothing else. I'm just trying to make this bonus. Once I get that, I'm going to head in for the day. I missed the $75 bonus earlier this week. Shit was slow. Shit was really, really slow. And that $75 bonus slipped through my hands because I tried my hardest to make it on Thursday. But I just hit the wall. I couldn't drive anymore. I couldn't deal with this shit anymore. So I just cut off the app and went home. I was too short. Fuck. Two rides short. And I just couldn't go on anymore. I just couldn't deal with this shit anymore. I was tired. I was tired of 
McDonald's. I was tired of Uber Eats. I was tired of traffic. I gave it the old college try, but I just couldn't do it. But this, I'm, hang on, let me check. Okay, I am currently 11 rides away from that $60 bonus. And I got until 4 a.m. Monday morning to get it, which means all today and then tomorrow if I want to come out and get that $60 bonus. And of course I'm going to go for it. So, that's a cool ass car. Okay, cool. Yeah, I still admire people's cars. Anyway, that's what's going on in my world. Hopefully you guys are out there doing that Uber Lyft thing and making a lot of money, being successful, getting those tips. Whatever you guys are doing to get tips, hey, comment below and let me know what's going on. What you guys doing that's different than what I'm doing? Is it the neighborhood that I'm in? Are you guys in the suburbs only? Are you in the far north side? Downtown? Because I'm on the south side. Maybe that's the problem. Alright, like I say, comment below and let me know how you guys are getting those big tips. Because I want to get big tips. And I'm not. So, please, let me know your secret. Read me in, okay? Read me into the program. Appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know the routine. Uh, I don't know why I keep checking the side of your mirror today. I, I, I don't know. I've been doing it all day. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. You be safe out there. Watch out for yourselves and watch out for each other. It's nice and hot today. Already had a situation earlier today with this guy. I'm sitting at the light, waiting on the light to change so I can turn right. This guy sitting behind me, he's creeping up on me, he's right on my bumper. And then all of a sudden he's on this side of me. Now we're both turning right. So one lane in which to turn right. He's on the side of me. He can't wait for me to move. He's on the side of me. And then as soon as the light turns green, he's gone past me. Meantime, I can see his mouth going like this and him doing all this kind of shit to me. I'm like, what the fuck? I can't make the light change any faster than you can. But I guess I wasn't creeping up into the, into the fuck, into traffic, basically. Because before the light changed, he was in traffic. I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. But I'm seeing him in front of me, right, as he's driving, because he's gone. I mean, this guy's got his foot on the floor. I mean, he's pulling away from me like Speed Racer, you know? And he's just, I can see him mouthing, you know? And I can see him with the finger. And all this gesturing and gyrating and shit. I'm like, bro, it ain't even that serious. It's Saturday. You sitting in the car with a t-shirt on. At least I can see that much. So obviously you ain't going to work. So where are you going in such a hurry that you need to do all this? <sighs> so anyway, just be careful out there. Watch out for yourselves, watch out for each other, it's hot, heat makes people stupid, that's all I can say. Alright guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe once again, because I like when you guys, you know, make a reply or something along those lines. If you got a question, hey, I like answering, and if I don't know it, hey, I'll tell you, go to the green light office. In the meantime... Thanks for watching, and I'll holler at you later. Peace.